Louis Durango was your typical young man when the unexpected happened, his number came up in Judgment City. He insisted that they made a mistake and there was no way he belonged in Judgment City at this time. After further analysis, they came to the conclusion there was a clerical error from the receiving department. The odds were one in one billion, and upper management did not appreciate this error and came to a resolution. Lewis, you have two options, the higher-up said, their voice tinged with authority. You can be reborn again and start your life anew, or stay in Judgment City as an advisor to help new arrivals and determine if they continue on to the next level of existence or go back to Earth and start their birth over again. Lewis decided to stay. He was an orphan and had no family, kids, or spouse. In the bustling city of Judgment City, where souls awaited their final judgment before moving on to the next phase of existence, Louis Durango found himself as an intern at the Department of Soul Guidance. He spent his days shadowing senior advisors, assisting with paperwork, and observing the intricate process of guiding souls through their journey. One fateful day, as Louis was sorting through paperwork in the intern office, a commotion erupted in the hallway. An urgent message was delivered, summoning him to the presence of the higher-ups in Judgment City. Heart racing with anticipation and nerves, Lewis made his way to the chambers of the higher-ups, where he was met with a solemn gathering of powerful beings. Lewis Durango, one of the higher-ups addressed him, their voice resonating with authority, we have a special assignment for you. Lewis's pulse quickened at the mention of a special assignment. It was a rare opportunity for an intern like him to take on a task of such importance. There is a soul in our midst who is on the brink of a monumental decision, the higher-up continued. They are contemplating ending their own life, and it is up to you to intervene and show them the value of life. Lewis's heart sank at the gravity of the situation. He knew that this assignment would test him in ways he had never been tested before. But he also knew that he had been given special powers by the higher-ups specifically for this task an ability to connect with souls on a deeper level and show them the beauty and purpose of life. With a sense of determination burning within him, Lewis accepted the assignment. He knew that the fate of this soul hung in the balance, and he was determined to do whatever it took to prevent them from making a decision they would regret for eternity. As he set out to meet the soul in question, he felt a surge of energy coursing through his veins. He could feel the weight of the assignment resting heavily on his shoulders, but he was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. When he finally encountered the soul, he was struck by their despair and hopelessness. They stood on the edge of a precipice, their eyes filled with tears as they contemplated ending their own life. Lewis approached them with gentleness and compassion, using his special powers to connect with them on a soul-deep level. He showed them memories of joy and laughter, of love and friendship, reminding them of the beauty and purpose of life, even in the darkest of times. Slowly but surely, the soul's resolve began to waver. They listened intently to Lewis's words of wisdom and encouragement, their heart opening up to the possibility of a future filled with hope and possibility. As they delved deeper into the soul's past, they uncovered painful memories and buried traumas that had long been forgotten. Each revelation brought them one step closer to understanding the root of the soul's despair, but it also unearthed a darkness that threatened to consume them both. Lewis knew that they were treading on dangerous ground, but he refused to back down. He knew that the only way to help the soul heal was to confront their demons head-on, to shine a light into the darkest corners of their soul and show them that they were not alone. Together, they faced their fears and insecurities, their doubts and uncertainties. And with each passing day, the darkness began to recede, replaced by a glimmer of hope and resilience. As they emerged from the darkness into the light, Lewis felt a sense of pride and accomplishment wash over him. He had helped the soul find their way back to the beauty and wonder of life, and in doing so, he had found a sense of purpose and fulfillment that he had never known before. With a newfound sense of confidence and determination, Lewis returned to the intern office in Judgment City ready to take on whatever challenges lay ahead. He knew that his journey as an intern was far from over, but he also knew that he was exactly where he was meant to be a beacon of light in the darkness, guiding lost souls toward their ultimate destination. As he settled back into his routine, 
Lewis couldn't help but reflect on the journey that had brought him to this moment. He had faced his own fears and insecurities, his own doubts and uncertainties. But through it all, he had emerged stronger and more resilient than ever before. And as he looked ahead to the future, he knew that no matter what challenges lay in store, he would face them head-on with courage and determination. For he was Louis Durango, eternal in turn of Judgment City, and he was ready to take on the world one soul at a time.